Greetings and welcome to another MSG Coffee Quip. I am Gavin Kelly here. We are talking about hybrid sampling again. My guests from this, the MSG sampling team are Elizabeth Nelson, Steve Dentino, and Janet Malafi. And to answer questions, of course, our esteemed Dr. Mansoor Fahimi. Let's dive in. So it's great to be here today, and it's always wonderful talking to you, Mansoor. Um, but I guess to get started, if you can just give us a brief um, review or recap of hybrid sampling and how researchers can really benefit from this methodology. Sure, that's a good place to start. So uh, while there are no standard definitions for hybrid sampling, typically in practice, that includes uh, mixing uh, samples from different sampling frames to reduce costs and improve coverage. Uh, as traditional methods of probability-based sampling continue to struggle with coverage and cost, researchers are compelled to look for alternatives. And therefore, it is in this context that these days, Typically, hybrid sampling refers to having a probability-based sample component supplemented with a less expensive non-probability sample component, and then again, blending these together. And this is not a you know uh, brand new idea. It's an extension of what we have been using, uh, the so-called composite estimation methodology that has been around for decades. Uh, Mansoor, is it okay to blend data from probability sample and non-probability samples? Well, uh, maybe I should start with a disclaimer. In all fairness, that organic representation is unique to probability-based samples, so there is no substitute for the real thing. But then again, realities of the 21st century suggest that we have to be more pragmatic and therefore uh, consider other options without, uh, you know, ignoring rigor. So yes, the short answer is yes. You can mix probability and non-probability samples, but there is a right way of doing that and infinitely many ways of incorrect way, ways of doing that. Oh, okay, thank you. So keeping on that note, when blending sample um, for survey data, do you, from different samples, do they need to be a, have a common sampling method and data collection? Well, again, traditionally, survey researchers have been um, very concerned about uh, details such as mode effect. But these days, those concerns are being trumped with more, uh, you know, serious challenges. Uh, these days, it is fair to say that most surveys at best secure response rates that are in high single digits, 10%, 8%, 9%. So when you have that sort of 800 pound gorilla in the room, uh, worrying about some of the finer details is probably uh, fading away. So the short answer to your question is no, surveys can be blended when the sampling methodology is not consistent across surveys, or even mode of data collection is not consistent across surveys. Mansoor, can you elaborate on blending samples and why it is not appropriate to stack different uh, sample methods in the combined data file? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a very important question. So at the end of the day, the acid test for the quality of a sample it, is its representational properties. Uh, therefore, uh, simply stacking up uh, data files ignores the fact that some samples have superior representational qualities and some have inferior representational qualities. So it is from that perspective that when samples are combined, you don't combine them based on their raw size, which would be stacking up the data, as you mentioned, but instead you, you combine them in, in proportions of their so-called effective sample size. In other words, you need to reflect how much weighting has been necessary to make a particular sample representative of its target population. This actually gets back to the good old days um, and relates directly to my doctoral dissertation research and the work that I have done uh, during the, the past two, three decades. Um, so we will be happy here at MSG to help you, all of our clients, 
to uh, work with hybrid samples, starting from design considerations to sample selection, to actually uh, refining the data so that you can uh, blend these various samples in an optimal fashion. Excellent. Well, we still have a few more minutes here. Any uh, other additions? I just wanted to add that again, as, as realities of the digital age continue to force us to think outside of the box, these alternative methods are becoming uh, commonplace. Um, we are not uh, belittling the importance of probability-based samples, traditional methods, but at the same time, times are changing and we need to be responsive to the changes that are upon us. Understood. Understood. OK, I guess that about wraps it up here. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all your input. And uh, you out there watching, please feel free to follow us. Another video Thank coming you. next week. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.